move the pocket, drop the elbow down like Patrick Mahomes. He's a great player. Out of the timeout, Hampton's got five, make it six on the first carry before the middle linebacker, Andrew Parker. Third down, pressure coming out of the backfield. The catch is made, and that's Kobe Pesor on the first down to the 39. Gain of eight, Ethan Johnson, the stop for Appalachia. Blackwell and Pesor are the receivers to the near side or wide side as we look at it. Here's a throw, and Pesor turns, and time for the ball to arrive. And Brendan Harrington, the linebacker, makes the stop, but it's close to another Tar Heel first down. Nine yards from May. May's two of his first four. Quick throw to the near side. This is Blackwell trying to spin away inside the 35. They'll measure it to the 32. Nick Ross is terrific for the Mountaineers. Number four in the white jersey. A senior from Cal High School in Marietta, Georgia. Carolina coaches couldn't say enough about how much they respected his game. Yeah, he's all over the place. 12 tackles last week and an active player. Pass to the football. Makes his 17th start for Appalachian State today. Here's the give and a strong run. Look at Big Hampton fire away for a first down. 220 pound sophomore Amari in Hampton. And Wes, you said it. He hits this thing downhill. Look at this coming right at you. It's a lot of power. Maybe even could have tacked on a face mask. First and 10. Hampton will get the call again. He'll take some white shirts with him inside the 20. Near the 18. It'll be a pickup of four. Elijah Green's coming to the ball again. Carolina's hit their first two third downs. Made a throw. Back across the middle. Caught. Pesor, I believe, in traffic. Going to be close to the first down. We'll see. Oh, no, it's J.J. Jones. Five, not eight. On the grab for the Tar Heels. And here comes John Copenhaver and Amarian Hampton back into the lineup for Mac Brown. Copenhaver, tight end, that's an excellent blocker. And May's going to be split out wide to the left here on the Wildcat backfield. So Hampton, that's Nesbitt, the tight end, flexing back toward the formation. Hampton will keep, drive it. Did Appalachian make the stop? I think the Mountaineers did. Brendan Harrington looped around, and Sean Clark's team gets an early stop of Carolina here. Timeout at Keenan Stadium. Carolina threatened. Appalachian gets the stop on downs. Mountaineers take over at their own 14. Joey Aguilar making his first start on a bootleg throw, and it is caught by Deshaun Davis. Second down and eight after the two-yard run. There's a slant and a catch and in, and that's Davis. One more time. Deshaun Davis had six catches, 72 yards, and a touchdown last year against the Heels and Boone. Giovanni Biggers, the tackle at the 49 there, and Aguilar's two for two. And how about this? An in-breaking route, just go ahead and put it right into the chest of your wide receiver. That is perfect by Joey Aguilar. Appalachian goes to the boundary, three to the field here on first and ten. Quick throw on the perimeter, juggled and caught Davis. He's got three catches already, close to another App State first down. Listen, oh, no, seen... that's Noel, five. Beg your pardon, not six Davis. I've seen three passes, but I'm going to tell you, Joey Aguilar looks comfortable. Look at how this ball's out and surprises Noel. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, for a kid who's making his first start with this school, and right off the bat, he looks comfortable. Yep. Second and less than a yard. Noel, left side, first down and more. Inside the 30, down inside near the 20-yard line, and a flag's been thrown in. He's measured out at the 18. He's a well-respected player, and he tries to run off and then block, and yeah, I don't know about that one. Quick throw on the perimeter. Davis to work again, and a great open field tackle. Against the heels. Haywood. Left side, and he will be stopped at the 29-yard line. Elijah Green is the running back on first down, and he will pick up about five on first. Brendan Harrington the stop, and there is. With some type of escape for it made, it spit the ball out to the perimeter. 
That's Morales in motion the tight end. May looking to throw again this time from the pocket. He'll sneak through. 45 and got turned over shy of midfield. That was Parker, the middle linebacker. It'll be third and short. He may has got some wiggle to him as he makes a defender miss. However, it's the end of this run. It is one of the areas where he can improve. Good wiggle here. Good job. I'll get down sooner, or get down feet first, so Andrew Parker Jr. can't put that hit on him. Third and short for Carolina. Caleb Hood has come in. Wildcat for Carolina, and it's stopped again. And that is Favors, the safety. And so Favors, he's just going to come. He, he just chases it down from behind. You get into an unbalanced look, you have a short edge because it's just gone. Is how they played against the Tar Heels, feeling like these are winnable games. Noel straight ahead. Did the ball pop out? It did, and it's going to be scooped up. The Mountaineers, Milan Tucker fell on it. Oh boy. Ball at the 18 after the penalty, and Noel trying to bend it back and does. Crosses the 20, and then Biggers grabs him by the shoulder pads and drops him at the 25, Taylor. You guys were talking earlier up in the booth about how comfortable Joey Aguilar looked in his first career start at the FBS level. Remember, he came from JUCO. So I asked him, like, how do you prepare for a game like this? So normally he's lighthearted, joking around an hour before kickoff goes when he locks in, puts on his headphones, and he sits on the four-yard line to bask in the glory and get ready for kickoff, guys. Noel got hammered behind the line at the 23. DJ Jones, who they want to get more out of, he's in there as well. And... Aguilar looks near side, and Tucker will grab it at the 30 for the first down. Good sharp throw for seven yards. Aguilar's five of seven now, over 50 yards of passing. Another quick throw to the perimeter. And tackle Mikhail Jackson, or Mikhail Jackson, rather. Pistol formation for Aguilar. This is Haywood, first down across the 40. Carolina gashed in the run game for 10 yards by the Navy transfer. Second down, full 10 again. Aguilar the throw, far side. Catch is made, and that is Jackson. And he'll be helped out of bounds at the 37. Aguilar going to run the pocket to the right, keep it, and Gray knocks him down, but he got the first down to the 32. Snap down, kick is away, and the Mountaineers lead. 3-0. Center cut from Michael Hughes. He was one of two last week, and he's one for two tonight. Three nothing out. And then that counts as a transfer out of there. Is absurd. Hampton, wide open running. 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Carolina. And all the receivers down to the bottom right of the screen. And then up top, it's just a three-man side in between Corey Gaynor, Willie Lampkin, and Daryl Pounds. They just do a nice job of just bodying everybody up. And I don't think Hampton was ever touched. And he certainly, certainly shows enough speed to get into the end zone. You didn't know, if you didn't know how fast he was, you know now. Tough as it is, it's good to see him out there on the sideline. Appalachian Aguilar. Dialing up Christian Horn, and he's knocked down, I think, a half step behind the line by Don Chapman. Well, you saw Pat McAfee, J. Billis weighed in with a long statement on Instagram that has caught the eye of a lot of people in the media game. And Tim, as you said a moment ago, the inconsistency here is the frustrating part for Carolina and for a lot of people who support college athletics in what was a very difficult time in our country, let alone for these student athletes. It's that part of it that really bothers me. Here's Aguilar keeping it from the pocket. Almost got tripped up. Keeps his feet, and he'll have the Appalachian first down. Out to the 37. Terrific play. Joey Aguilar for 13 and a first down. First and 10 now in Carolina territory at the 44. Aguilar on a play fake. To his right. Loops downfield and a diving catch. Deshaun Davis at the Carolina 10-yard line. Terrific catch and a really good throw it looked like from Joey Aguilar. Take off and run. As he escapes outside the pocket there, there's real estate. 
He likes what he sees downfield. Good throw on the move. 34 yard strike to Davis. First. Haywood trying to sweep to the right. And pushed out, I believe, around the five by Cedric Gray. Here for App State. Aguilar to his right. He'll dump it. And Eli Wilson will give App State the lead. Everyone's looking at you of how we react to what we just saw. Here goes Amari and Hampton right side or left side and another big gash. Hampton will be taken down somewhere inside the 40, maybe the 38 of App State by Jordan Favors. It's well blocked again. Good job of passing it off to the guys up front. Really, man. But Mac Brown wants to run the football first. Caleb Hood gets his first carry of the year, and here is Hood. Held to seven games a year ago by injury. He'll have the Tar Heel first down on a run of 10 to the 18. And I think what's tough about defending this run game. Second down, a loss of eight on the play. May trying to elude the rush and cannot get away from Brendan Harrington. Coe's kick is away, and we are tied. He had a 52-yarder as a Bearcat. He looks really comfortable. First down, here's Noel skipping to the left, and he'll have a first down. Knocked out at midfield. Oh, it is caught. This is Stroman. He'll have the Mountaineer first down, digging toward the 32 before Don Chapman can push him back. You said it earlier, Stroman's a big, tall target. Again, good timing. Ball was there immediately, which allows for better opportunity in terms of run after catch. And I feel like it's been a bit of a story for the Tar Heels where you know, the corner is just not making the play at the moment of truth and not making a tackle. The receiver does come down with the football. 16 yard throw from Aguilar to Stroman. Play fake here. Is he taking a shot? He sure is. Back across and caught. Touchdown for Deshaun Davis. It's another great call by Frank Potts running the deep. Basically, see what happened. They're just going to run a deep over, and they're running this. And coming off of the play fake, he sees it right away. Ball's out now. It's just an excellent throw. It's a great response, great opening drive by the Mountaineers. Second in the full 10 for Carolina. May a play fake. Appalachian trying to get there. Hit as he throws, and it's caught on the crossing route. Pesor. Out of bounds at the 20 yard line of the Mountaineers where Ethan Johnson shoved him out. And so he kind of flattens him to bend him down so that Johnson can't fall off and make a play. It's a heck of a throw. First and goal for Carolina and Caleb Hood scores standing. Which leads to some big plays before the score. Yep. Poe to kick it away. Tucker will wait. And he's going to bring it off the goal line here. Headed to the far side and cuts it to 20 25. Milan Tucker very dangerous. And out across the 40 to the 41 goes Tucker. Carolina manning up here. Here's the sweep. Tucker trying to get to the perimeter and Power Eccles is going to pull him down. It'll be a loss of two back on the other side of the midfield strike. Gray made the tackle. 33 not 23. At the Tar Heel bench. Aguilar again from the pocket. Right side throw. Caught. First down. Maybe. Yes. Spinning away is Caden Robinson. And down to the Carolina 30-yard line. I'm encouraged about these matchups. Because once again, it's a simple curl route. Win on the route. And then break the tackle. I mean, the, the problem for the Carolina uh, defense right now is the corners. When they allow a catch down to the throw. Noel's coming again. Play fake by Aguilar. Rolls to his right. Gray gives chase. Intercepted. Don Chapman has come up with the pick for Carolina. How congested this looks. They're going into the flat. They're running an over route. And they're coming here. And basically what happens is Chapman, who's originally in the flat, he sinks back to deal with that over route. And it just everything got condensed on Aguilar. And after he comes off of the flat and turns to throw the over route, Chapman just ends up, it's going to open things up inside the box. They're going to hand it to Hampton again, and Amarian splits it at the right side. 
down to the Appalachian 22-yard line. Here's Hood. And a good play to the Mountaineers there. That is Jackson Green. And Tim, he made a heck of a play last week against Jordan Love. This guy finds the football. He finds he? the football. Oh. I love the way the coaches talked about him. They said he's a do it right guy. You know, like everything it is, doesn't matter if it's in the weight room, doesn't matter how he practices, he's a do it right guy. And, and coaches always like to see success from those types of players. Single receiver in the boundary is Green. Kind of a bunch look to the top of the screen. Mountaineers rush three. May back up in the pocket. Dances, throws. That's Pesor the catch near the line of scrimmage. And boy, Appalachians there in a hurry. Ethan Johnson, the headliner. And the final 90 seconds of quarter three. And that is good. Well, Don Chapman's got three tight ends on the field and a single receiver for Aguilar. Noel is the running back. Aguilar, play fake, trying to hit a release. It's a tight end who holds on. My goodness, Miller Gibbs, who had a 13-yard touchdown catch a year ago in Boone, converts fourth in inches. Fake the quarterback sneak, basically, and then you just throw a little pop pass, and that is close to getting broken up by Cedric Gray. That's another perfect throw by Joey Aguilar. And Gibbs, he's done a lot of great work in the run game as a blocker tonight. Great drop. Flush to his right. Going to loop it up. And it is caught. What a catch by Strowman. All six foot four of Dalton Strowman. You just look at pick up Rucker. That gives Joey Aguilar some time. And then Strowman basically says, week one of the NFL tomorrow. I'm getting on. You've got Mark. Left side. Stiff arm and touchdown. Mountaineers are back in front. Fourth lead change of the night. Nate Noel, second rushing score of the year, Tim. And yeah, you see the power, you see the speed, and there's too much speed for power Eccles to get an angle on him. And Sean Clark, pretty thrilled about how his team responded. Like with new offense coordinator Chip Lindsey, I think we'll see a more methodical approach. Here's May, going to fire it deep, and it's caught Jones at the 20. Inside the 10, first and goal, Carolina. And just as I say, it's hard play action, the post to Jones, and it's perfectly thrown by Drake May. And now we're going to see the Tar Heels go fast. Carolina right up on the line after the 57-yard throw to J.J. Jones. Here is Hampton chugging inside the five. Look at the white shirts he takes to the end zone. Touchdown for Amarian Hampton. He hit nearly all 11 of the Mountaineers on the way into the end zone. Tar Heels back in front. Fourth quarter continues in a moment. Aguilar's been terrific. He'll turn handle. Haywood caught it, fumbled it, and then scooped it back up. And I think got back to the line of scrimmage. That was almost disastrous. Two by two look. Carolina trying to get there. Back across the middle. Caught the tight end. And out of bounds goes Eli Wilson with an Appalachian first down and a flag on the play. You see both these linebackers walked up into the A-gap. They come, and because they vacate, you just replace those linebackers with Eli Wilson coming across the formation on a little crossing route. Good accurate throw. Tack on the face mask. The field goal touchdown with as little time left on the clock as possible. Here's Noel rounding to the far side. He's got another first down and out of bounds with 2.12 to go. Yeah, and, and, I mean, even more so now. Snap, spot. And it is good. Inside the left third. And now Carolina has one timeout and 122 to go. Mountaineers bringing four. May from the pocket, and he will be sacked. Michael Fletcher. 
the Michigan State transfer. This is on Drake May, but that's exactly what happens. He starts to his left. I think there was some confusion on the route. Mountaineers bring four again. May cuts it loose, and it's a first down. Catch made by Jones. He's got the big touchdown grab, and he's got a first down out to the 38. 107 to go, and Carolina to the line. May again, looking right, runs through a tackle. 40, and Drake will get to the 48, and a first down, I believe. And he runs through two tackles. That is strength in the pocket. That kids have seen a ton of that before, but that, that's what I mean on that last play. I mean, that two broken tackles basically because he's able to kick snap spot he missed it and we go to overtime at Keenan Stadium gonna hand it to Noel again working all the way to the right side inside the 10 first and goal power echoes the tackle Check out the block on the perimeter by Eli Wilson to get to the edge, and then receivers doing work on the perimeter. The two. First and goal. Noel at the left side. Touchdown, Appalachian. Biggers, the safety, could not slow down Noel. The dive portion of it. Give the ball to Noel. He cuts it backside and able to run through the contact from Giovanni Bigger. So made to work. Third and short. This is Hampton. Left side. Touchdown, Carolina. 17-yard run for Amari and Hampton. After what happened at the end of regulation. Good vision. Kick to tie. For the big 220-pound back. That's Morales in motion. May's going to keep it. Left side. Drake May scores. And just too easy. It's basically Hampton, 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 and then read the backside defender. Drake May decides to keep the football. And at first glance, I want to make sure that finger roll happened. One Game on the line now for the Mountaineers, who are five for five tonight on fourth down. Snap, pressure, Aguilar, back foot throw, Davis, incomplete, no flags, Tar Heels win.